Well, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Today, she's snowing out. So let's come over here to that nice side. See what's going on. Oh, oh. today so we got this pickup here might grease the front end on this thing maybe that's really all it needs we are here with a famous vehicle it says arrow all right right there arrow now if you know me you've probably heard a story or nine about arrow he smokes a lot of cigarettes. And this pickup, it smokes a lot. Gosh. Neither does that one, but. I mean. Oh, oh. oh, this is a really nice seat, actually. The screwdriver is frozen to the floor. Oh. All right. Oh, my Lord. Okay. Okay. Take it out of gear. Pump it a little bit, custom ignition switch, and the light bar. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we're gonna have to come back to this one right here. But now, this one, I know it'll start. It's never let me down. Just gotta clean the snow off the battery, of course. She'll get that on the big jobs. Because this thing is bulletproof and the door is froze shut. It's stuck shut. It's not opening. Okay, we're gonna have to go through the door. Oh, it smells good in here. It smells like really, really heavily of mice. So now we're out here. We should be able to find something that'll work for our bumper. We got our piece of pipe inside here. I think we're just gonna take the grinder, grind little bit of this rust off smooth it out you know get that weld off there and take a plate and weld that on there and take our pipe cut it so it sticks probably like right there so that way we can really rip stuff you know and then uh, weld that under our plate and that should be all we need Actually, should be should be good enough to weld some plates too so now we got this plate marked out four by four square okay got the torch now my favorite utensil while i'm in the shop is a lighter i carry a lighter everywhere i go it is the handiest tool i've ever used okay when you're also torching you don't want to wear gloves because that just gets in the way you don't want to wear eye protection. Now, this may be bright, but if you just squint hard enough, it's not that bright, okay? So, now that we got this cut, it may not look very good because it's not very good because I am really shaky, but now we can just get that off there. Now we have now, if you will look at this, this looks, oh, I just burned my boot, okay. This looks very unsteady and very uneven and very horrible, but you just don't look at that. I mean, I mean, it's good enough. Just get gloves, you are done. Now, while this is really hot, you're gonna wanna drain all the, uh, Oh, the slag off. So that way, when it flings, the sparks all over. They're really hot and they light stuff on fire. So, now that we have this nice square here, we can uh, make another one. 
Now, I made this about four inches, what it's supposed to be, but if it's four inches, I'll be dipped, okay? We'll just store that one down there, how about? And we'll make another one. So now that we have two perfectly uneven cut chunks of, chunks of flat iron here in the shape of a square, and they're ground and everything, uh, we can think about well Woke up quick at about noon Just thought that I had to be in Compton soon About to go and damn near went blind Young to get at the path throwing up gang signs Ran in the house and grabbed my clip With the Mac-10 So here's what we're burning today We got this Cut out premium 7018. I think this stuff's probably older than I am. It was in this building when we bought the place. And it is slightly wet, but you know, it works. Now, the only thing I am worried about is that my crotch is showing here. Um, these ripped jeans. Now, the only problem with ripped jeans is that sparks right there. And you don't want sparks there. So, we're gonna weld like this right here, I think. Um, it should work pretty good. Um, this pot here is actually very important. What you do is you take these little nubs and put them in this pot. And that way you're not tripping out. And there is water in there. That is not mandatory. But, if it's in there, I'm not gonna dump it out because then I'd have to go outside and dump it out. Now we have all of them. That is good enough. It's gonna work. So now I just gotta rinse and repeat on the other side, and I'll catch you back then. All right. So now we got it all welded up. This side is not very good. I'm gonna grind that off right there. Okay. But they're on there. They shouldn't come off. So this side's a little bit better. I haven't ground off the slag yet, but I imagine it's gonna be kind of ugly there too. It's really smoky in here, so we're gonna come over here, turn on this uh, high tech ventilation. But now we're gonna measure this and cut this pipe to however long we need it. And then, yeah. All right, so now we got our pipe up on these pipe stands here. These things are awesome. We got it marked out. These things here, I recommend these things. These things are awesome when you're working with pipe of any shape, size, whatever. I mean, pipe is usually circle. Um, well, I mean, these things are just awesome. You cannot go wrong with one of these. So I guess now all that's left to do is cut these and then uh, weld them up. I'm seeing stars right now. That was really great. But, what you say, you do not need eye protection. You can eat carrots. Oh, yeah, that is perfect right there. Now, I'll put our little uh, pipe marking thing on there and do the same thing uh, good down the other side. It might take two hands to run your pipe mark for you. But if you do like me, you can do it with one. All right, so now we got both our pieces of pipe cut out and on their ground, put a bevel on too, just so that way you get all sorts of contact. Now, don't even question the cutting, okay? I mean, the cutting, 
it it's cut okay so now this will go on there like so and then there we go we'll have some more protection and i haven't decided i might do something to protect the winch so i can ram stuff from the front too and not destroy my winch because my winch is very um it's sensitive okay it is 200 dollars brand new so yeah um yeah i guess i'll just put that on there and then weld it maybe i don't know i guess we'll find out maybe we'll catch these drips there with that bucket cool we're going back and forth and i'm playing All right, so now we got uh, this all welded on here. I did, in fact, wasn't paying attention, and I welded the non-beveled end on there. So, Ricky mistake, really, but I mean, the beveled end looks nice out there. So, I think this should be pretty solid. I mean, kick test, it ain't moving at all. I got almost all of it welded. I burned a hole through there because it's kind of, it's thin there from rust of course but i got it i got it welded far enough around there, so it'll be good um yeah i'll be able to hit stuff now that's for sure it ain't it isn't gonna go anywhere i might put a little bit of a gusset right there just just in case and maybe while i'm at it i'll put one there but it really does not need it it is stout it is stout i mean i mean that is stout i mean we can even hit it with this grinder and it will not move so that's how you know i did stick the rod and i ruined one good rod but i mean it, it's just the price of doing business really and we can check the levelness too here see that is almost perfect okay you cannot argue with me that is almost perfect i mean the end right there that is pretty perfect too, actually. So I'm mildly surprised by my skills. Um, I don't think I've ever done anything this good before. I mean, that is good. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go inside and eat lunch because this old girl's got to eat too. I mean, yeah. Look at those body lines there, gosh dang. Oh yeah. We got this side welded on. You've probably seen that. Now we got this doobobber here that's gonna stick out and there's gonna be another one over there. And then gonna have a chunk going across there between the two and that'll protect my winch and everything else and it'll kind of just make everything slide under there. Um, which by the way, this is where my snow plow mounts to. So yeah. I think this is gonna be a lot heavier duty than that snowplow mount right there. So I think we gotta make this more better because right now the pipe's gonna sit like that kind of, we want it to sit like that. So we gotta do some grinding there. We gotta weld this other one on over here and then weld the chunk across there. That's about it, I think. I'm not gonna waste my time painting it because why would I paint it on something like this? Okay. So I did break this out. I was clearing this with my foot and then it broke. 
so that sucks. Not really, I don't really care. This piece of pipe right here is the first one I cut, but I cut it wrong because you put it up there and it's like that, you see? And we, we don't want that. Um, but yeah, so there's the general idea. It's sitting really weird right now, but that's what we got grinders for. So yeah, you can just you can just picture it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty heavy duty. I mean it ain't going nowhere. That is for sure. So now this one here will weld on there like that, and bam, we'll have two. Um, gonna have to run something across there too to make sure that they're gonna be in line with each other. But we might just uh, say screw that, and just weld it on there, and find out later. Yeah, it's probably, if I'm being honest, that's what I want to do. So, yeah. Well, boys and girls, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Oh, yeah, she's done. Now, you may be looking at this and think, well, that thing looks uglier than a duck, okay? But I tell you, this thing will not uh, break, okay? Mate, well, no, okay. Um... Yeah, okay, just forget I said that. Anyways, it probably will break. Probably will bend. But my winch is gonna stay on there. Now, the only thing, the only immediate worry I have about this is these bolts right here. I mean, there's only four bolts holding them on, half inch bolts. But I'm just I'm gonna forget about that for right now. If I hit something down here, I think I'll be good. But up here, I'm worried it's going to tip back and rip these bolts out and then break these bolts off. So, I mean, we'll just cross that bridge when we get there. But for right now, I mean, that sucker will work. Got my winch cable fixed, too, for like the second or third time now. I don't know. It's too, it's too light duty for my plow. Because I hit a bump and it just sits there and, yeah, it broke. And this time I decided to run it over here just to see what it was like. See if it'll work for me or whatnot, you know. Um, I might spool the winch the other way so that way the cable comes out the top and over. I'm sure there's some certain way you're supposed to do it, but I really don't care. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, it's done. It's all, it's all I know. So... Yeah, I guess we'll leave you guys here for now. Come back another day and make another video. Maybe, if I feel like it. But, yeah. No. I'm going to go test this thing out. Maybe go catch some firewood up. See how she works. This dent was in the pipe already, so that just makes me want to hit something more. Because the first dent's already in it. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter after that point. So, yeah.